Hi, today we're going to be looking at the Envision's um, Pearson Realize website and hopefully giving you some ideas on how to navigate this website in order to help support your child's home learning. So the first thing that you're going to do is um, you're going to type in pearsonrealize.com in your browser. I would recommend using Google Chrome. This program or this website works a little bit better when it's run on Google Chrome. People have less issues with it. So I would say if you have Google Chrome, use it for this particular website. So when you go to sign in, you're going to use your child's login credentials. And I'm already signed in, so let me just show you what that screen looks like. Sorry about that. So what usually when you go in um, to Pearson Realize, it will take you to this screen. Your child's username is going to be the letters HT, like Howell Township, and then their full name with no spaces and no capital letters. Um, and then their password is going to be the same thing. It will be HT, those two letters, and then their student ID number. If you don't have this information, your child probably does because they're used to signing into different websites with it. So you can ask them um, or worst case scenario, you can ask the, the teacher, but the child should know how to sign in. Um, so once you type in your username and your password, click sign in and it will take you to a main screen, a home screen. There are three different sections. You have browse, you have classes, and you have grades. We're going to start with browse and this is basically where you'll access the most material in order to help your child or you know to support them at home. Um, you've got the math practices animations here. If you click this, these are just short videos for the eight mathematical practices that go along with the learning standards for mathematics. And these might be helpful if your child is um, trying to do certain word problems. You'll see on their actual work in the book, it says MP and then a number next to certain problems. So if your kid is having a really hard time with one of those problems, this might be a place to go to give them a strategy or some help with how to solve problems like that. Um, that, that might be difficult or tricky. So that's what the math practices animations are. And then you have all the topics broken up here. Um, these are all the different things that they'll be learning based on the standards, um, the New Jersey and student learning standards. So you pick the topic, you pick the lesson that your child is working on. Uh, the first thing you have are the two different e-texts. The first student edition e-text is good because um, in case you want to do to print out any pages from the book. If they leave their book at school but they still want to do some practice, um, you can print anything out from here and it's exactly the same as the material that they did in school. And in the beginning of every topic, you've got a solve and share, which is just a model um, problem that is done in different ways in the classroom, but you can see the type of problem that this topic will address. You also have the I can statement. That's basically the teacher's objective, what the kid will learn by the end of the lesson. So in this example, um, the children are going to learn how to model sums and differences of decimals. And then it tells you the standards that this goes along with, numbers in base 10. And then the mathematical practices 1, 2, 4, and 5 will also be addressed here. And then you can use a little next and back arrows to see. It goes through an example problem um, and then really breaks down different examples to, to help your child practice whatever the skill is that they learned. So that's just the regular uh, student edition. There's also the um, interactive student edition. And this is kind of neat because if your child is using this in class, they might be taking notes, they might be highlighting, they might have shown their work on a problem. Um, and if they did that, it's you can see the same thing, but they have tools here. So they can write things if they want to, they can actually type um, they can use symbols, they can use little counters here if they're trying to you know, show a number and model. So there's all kinds of things that they can do. And if they did this in class, it will be saved. So the interactive student edition might be worth looking into as well. Then here we have um, a solve and share is just a word problem that goes along with what they're learning in class. So it's a little bit more practice with word problems. A lot of teachers do this in class. So if you click on it, your child might already have words, you know, annotated notes in it that they took. Might be interesting to see. Um, and then down here, these are two different um, little visual examples of what they're learning in class. Uh, this one, oops, sorry. So this one, a lot of teachers show this in the beginning of class, or they might use it as something in a station where students have to 
watch it. These are great for parents, even if you just want to watch and so you can see the language that the teacher uses, you can see the language you know that this program is using and kind of how it's taught in class. So you can watch this video or if your child is having a hard time understanding, you can sit down and watch it with them. And you can see that there are breaks within the video here where they ask you a question and then it just stops like it stops automatically wherever there's a break and then it starts again so it goes through a problem an example problem how to solve it and now you know how to do it so these videos can be extremely helpful for parents and then you also have another look which is again same idea it's just another example of a problem um, using you know the same objective and and using the same language but it's just another person explaining it in another way so i think those are all valuable tools that you could use as the uh, parent okay so this like i said exists for every single topic and every single lesson okay so then if we click up top here where it says pearson realize that'll bring us back to the home page under the classes tab, it says nothing is due right now. Check out content in your class programs. So when you click on classes, if there are any assignments that the teacher has given, um, they will all be listed here. If there's anything that's in progress that your student started in class and then didn't finish, you can see and you know go through the answers that they've already given and see the problems that aren't completed um, here. And then if you click on completed, those are the things that have already been handed in. They, the computer um, automatically grades everything that goes in here. So you can take a look and see what your child has already done. Okay. And again, over on the right side here, they give you the active book, which is the same thing as the interactive book I showed you before. Um, they also have a link here to the Game Center, the Glossary, Math Tools, and the Accessible Student Edition, which is great. Um, the Game Center would be if you're just looking, you know, your kid wants to play a game, but you want to give them something a little bit more math or, you know, school related. It's nice too because you can pick your grade. So if you have a child, you know, who might be struggling and you want to try to practice things that they learned the year before, you can do that too. Um, all the games are pretty similar to each other and the kids have played these in class so they know how to play them. If they don't know how to play, there's a little descriptor here and then they can also, um, you know, watch a little tutorial in the beginning. Your children should not have any problem with this because kids seem to intuitively know how to play games. Um, but that's the game center. The glossary is nice because when you click on the glossary, it gives you every single um, word from the entire math series. And it gives you a little video that shows you like a picture and, and what it is. You can search by a letter. You can just search the term. You can change it from English to Spanish. So lots of possibilities here in the glossary. So that's if there's any vocab that's not familiar. And then finally, we have the math tools. I think the math tools are great because these are a lot of the tools that the students use in class. They might use the physical tools, but here are some that they can use on their own. Um, bar diagrams are used in almost every single chapter or every single topic. And these are the different types of bar diagrams. So if it's asking in an assignment to create a bar diagram and you're not sure what that means, um, you can see what type of problem it is. Is it a comparison? Is it something that's working with equal groups? Adding, taking away, but whichever one you click on, it will then give you this interactive space um, where you can try and figure out what the bar diagram looks like. So even if you're not sure the number of parts, you can experiment here, you can change it. And as you can see, it will kind of go from there. So this is usually for multiplication and division, but Either way, then you can try to look at the different um, types of graphs. So this one is put together or take apart. You have addition or subtraction. You can slide it to change your number. You can change the number up top to something different. So these are you know, something that you can play around with or use as another tool. Okay. And then the accessible student edition is just um, another version of the ebook. Okay, so classes, again, that's where your assignments are, and there's also the tools there. And then grades are just when your assignments are finished. Um, this would be where everything would appear. Okay, and if you ever have a problem, you can also search here. 
uh, for any content, but like I said, the probably the program that you're going to be using the most is Browse to find all of those lessons and all of those resources and information for your child. Thank you, and hopefully this was helpful and you'll be able to navigate the Pearson website. Um, have a great day. Bye-bye.